Jeannie. And I'm Deb. Hi. We're here today because we're going to teach you how to make what we call tuna fudge. Actually, it's tuna, eggs, flour. No preservatives. Makes a great cost-effective treat that we use in dog training, or you can just use it for treats for your dog. So let's get started, Dan. Oh my gosh, the dogs just love it. They're crazy oh about my it. Gosh, First yeah. of all, I have four cans of tuna. So mark that down, four cans of tuna. Now I have mushed it up. It has to be tuna in water. You use the whole can and the water because you're not adding any other moisture other than four eggs. Four cans of tuna, four eggs. And the next step is, is just you want to go ahead and mix this r really well. So I'll let Dan. Sure, I'll hop in here. Yep, yeah, thanks. Go ahead, mix that up. And just, just crank it. You got it, Dan. Excellent. Then it's three cups of flour. I add one cup at a time. So we'll add our first cup. There you go. And really, by the time you get to the third cup, here we have a batch all done already. So I'll let you set that aside, Dan. Sure, absolutely. Because Dan did this before we started, and he got to find out that it's a little bit of a workout, but now we have it My all. My biceps are looking good. Excellent. Now we have it all mixed up. Now we want to take a cookie sheet, and I've well greased it. And the reason I'm saying well greased it is the first few couple times I made it, Dan. Yeah. I didn't grease it as well. Yeah. I just sprayed it and went. Oh, of course. Okay. And no, 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 no. It will stick. There is no oils in here. Oh. Which again is really good. So I greased it really well. Okay. Then I just start putting. After that, big old dollops, because you are going to have to smear this all around on your cookie sheet. Mm. And what I'm going to show you is there's a couple different ways of making this. Okay. Okay. One gal in our rescue, I'm with Safe Hands Animal Rescue, and one of the gals in our rescue says she takes this recipe, divides it in half, does it on two sheets, and she used a rolling pin. Oh. She sprayed the rolling pin with a, a, with a spray, and then... Um, rolled it out, and she cooks hers real crisp and makes oh. it. We're making a soft treat, great for training. Mm -hmm. Then I just start getting it all mushed around, I guess is a good oh, yeah. good technical term. Don't you? Mush? Mushed. Yeah. And so we're just going to mush it all around. And so now I would just keep putting all my dollops on here because it just makes it easier when you go to spread it around, as I said. And we're just going to get it all on our pan. And what I found is the best thing, and why I like this recipe rather than the real crisp, is we do a lot of training with this. Mm. And you want you want it soft, but cooked, because you want dogs to not be when you're trying to pound out some reps when you're dog training. Oh yeah. You need to have them chew, chew, swallow. After you get it all mushed out like this and just get it spread out, you do not have to be a perfectionist with, at this at all. You're not serving it at your next cocktail party. So, Dan, if you want to grab, we have um, another pan that's in the oven. Oh, sure. The one in the oven that we're pulling out, we cook that center rack 350 degrees for 40 minutes. So let's set this one aside. We'll let you see what it looks like. Excellent, Dan. Oh, that just looks... Oh, yeah. Actually, it's that's all human excellent. grade. There are no preservatives in this. That's excellent. Next thing I do is I cool it. Put it on a cooling rack. I wait till it's chilled. Once it's or once it's at room temperature, I should say. Then I just take good old pizza cutter. Mm -hmm. Who knew? That took one of the people in my uh, at a training class for um, Safe Hands Rescue. Uh, we I was using a knife and I was talking about how much work that was. She goes, "Use a pizza cutter," and I That's went, "Oh, awesome. that was brilliant, brilliant!" Oh yeah. And look at this. It's like excellent. And um, what I have found, though, when it comes to cutting it up into um, the finished product, mm -hmm. I like believe, this. This is what you exactly. wanted to look like. Exactly. Okay. That's those. Those are a finished product. All right. Is so. What I do is, Dan, is I take it and I cut it up into, I guess you'd call it eighths. And then I go ahead and package it, put it in the fridge overnight. Oh. And there's a reason for that. When I start cutting this really fresh stuff that came out of the oven is now at room temperature, it tends to want to not cut as easy and crumble oh. a little bit. So if you grab the stuff sure. I have out of the fridge, I package it up, and then I um, pull it out the next day. And that's when I do all my cutting up. So here, here we are. I just take out one of these little 
rectangles, and I just start cutting. Oh, it's much better. Oh, isn't it? Yes. See, it doesn't, it's not as flaky. It's got some stiffness to it. Works really good. And after I've done numerous strips like this, I'll do the whole thing like that. Oh, yeah. Then I just take it. And that's why. See, it's oh. when I'm doing this part that when it's fresh, it wants to kind of crumble. But when it's kind of got some firmness out of the overnight in the fridge or, or evening in the fridge before you cut it, so that it just cuts so much easier. Those are great size pieces, too, for training. They're or for perfect. Anything. So then we just package them up. As you can see here, I have finished product. I end up with about eight of these. Mm. And so it's very cost effective. That's a lot of treats. Yes, it That's is. great. And it's great. Give them to your next door neighbors, give them as presents, or put them in your freezer. Just remember, no preservatives. I put one bag in my fridge, lasts for about a week. Okay. Um, and the rest all go in the freezer. So when I finish one bag, I can just pull out another. That's awesome. And so let's just go over it again. Sure. For everybody, just so you know that we are uh, doing four cans of tuna in water. Use the water. Do not drain. Four eggs. Okay. Three cups of flour. That's easy. Yes. Well greased pan. So as you can see, this didn't stick at all. Awesome. Then um, we mush it all out. We bake it for... In the, in the oven, center rack, 350 degrees, 40 minutes. Okay, that's easy. There. Cool it, cut it. I put it in the fridge because I think it's much easier to cut once you have it. And then cut it up, put it in all your little snacky baggies, and you are good to go. Well, thanks for joining us today to learn about making tuna fudge. I haven't met a dog yet that doesn't just love it. And it's simple, easy. You know what I love most is that it's not full of a list of ingredients you can't even pronounce them every night. Nope, all human grace. So great, thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.